better. So let's talk about the videos. Okay. You said you told me that the videos had an impact on you. Yeah. What, 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 what happened? What, did, what does that mean? Actually, like, uh, like the way maybe the fact that uh, you're really living in this region for like, like I so long, that's what I'm doing, it's for more than 20 years you've been here. Mm -hmm. So maybe this fact, uh, like that you're like talking to the Israelis and the Palestinians, made you really create some really interesting questions. That, for example, I didn't thought of before, like the thing about like uh, that some uh, Israelis think that Palestinians are Jewish and Jews. And it was really like a new thing to me. Like uh, you know, like even though like, I have some Israeli friends and I talk with Israelis, like for me, like this, I was like, oh, we didn't talk about this before. So. Uh, like having this challenging questions, like if you started with this and then like, will it change your political views if you know that the Palestinians are Jewish and Jews? And for me, like it was like, what? So uh, it's really interesting the way that you're asking like, you know, like that complex question to challenge people. And sometimes even about like, it learned me more, uh, it made me learn more about Israelis and actually, also about Palestinians, even though they're Palestinians. Okay, so what did you learn about Israelis? It's, like, uh, for example, the thing about the Mizrahi Jews. Like, I, I was assuming that, you know, like, they, they really feel that they are not uh, so big or mm -hmm. like. Uh, Second class. Second class. So, uh, uh, for me, like, uh, I realized that, yes, some people do feel so, and some other people, like, totally don't feel like that. Uh, I know about the idea that they are, like, you know, now they are mixed. Like, it's not only, like, Mizrahim or, uh, or Mizrahi Jews don't only, like, uh, uh, get along with uh, Mizrahis. They only, like, have, like, some marriages that is mixed. I knew that, but for me, like, like uh, the thing that for them like now, is, you know, like they felt it, uh, like in, in early early beginning of Israel, but now not now. Yeah. So, but actually, it's interesting to see that some people still feel it till now. Mm -hmm. Like uh, from the videos, like you know, like it depends. Some people do feel that it's totally okay. Some people do feel no, it's uh, so fake. Or, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. What did you learn about Palestinians? Okay, so Palestinians, for me, like, uh, you know, like, it's really interesting to see, like, uh, in my area, like, in, in, and where I live in Jerusalem, is uh, one of the places which is the most intense. So, for me, like, uh, it's really interesting to see that some people are really, you know, like, they're in the middle. They are not really, like, very, like, uh, extremist and not really very, like, you know, like, uh, I'll say it's peaceful. Yeah. So uh, for me, like to see all these views of Palestinians, uh, maybe like because I didn't have the chance to ask you questions, so I don't really know about my my own society as the person who's asking like those questions like out loud and just like straight to the point and stuff. So like it made me also learn about my own community. In your community, though, you don't you don't ask these kind of questions like are um, like, like do you ask challenging questions in your own community yeah but not to people in the, in the street yeah. like, you know, like it's different when you're talking to your friend and you know like just go into the street and ask people it's like give you like a very for me it's an accurate question that you know like you, I want to answer so it, it shows you like the real vibe the stereotypes, mm -hmm. the real things that they don't, you know, like, you're not having like a long, comfortable uh, conversation with your friends. It's just like, and I could think, like, I want to ask you a question, what do you think about this? So sometimes, like, it shows the, the stereotypes, the first thoughts, which is, you know, like, if, when you're talking to your friends, like, you know, like, you give them the chance like, to sure. think about it, rethink about it, so it's not the same. Yeah, sure, because we all have com complex ideas, yeah. so. Even if we answer in these these sort of slogans that we everyone uses, it doesn't mean that's all the information that we believe. 
Yeah. It's just part of it. But I like to know, like, what is your first thought? Like, yeah. that's, that's, and that's also a reason I, I don't like to tell people the question before. Yeah. Um, because I want to see the look in their eyes. Like, what do I say? What do I think? Hmm. Yeah. I've never really thought about this. So. Yeah. And, and it's really interesting that sometimes, like, uh, like uh, you ask a question, and they say, like, like for example, like, do uh, what would happen to the Jews when Palestinian is liberated? Uh, I saw that some Palestinians will say, like, okay, like, we don't care, like, it's their own problem. They came here, so they go back wherever uh, they uh, they have been. You know, Where they came from. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, for me, like, when you just, like, started, like, asking challenging questions about, like, okay, so what about, like, before the 48, and they like, uh, you know, like, it's, it's changing. Yeah, of course. So, uh, it's interesting to see, like, the first thought, and then, like, what happens afterwards. That's right, when you push people, that's right, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Because what people say doesn't mean that in every situation they're going to still say the same thing. Yeah. So. So I, I like that, you, you know, like you start with the first thought and then you go deep. Okay. Is there a video you watched where you said, oh, he shouldn't have done that or um, you were offended? Uh, actually, you can be honest. Like, okay. <laughs> so, I don't know. Like sometimes like we have, we still have like those uh, things that, you know, like the, uh, they are like, like, the, like the red lights. That you know, like you see the le red light when the the questions are being asked, or sometimes like meaning they're taboos or things you're not supposed to talk about. It's not like I, I believe that we have to talk about everything. Uh -huh. It's for me like the, the thing is that sometimes when you're asking like challenging questions, and you know like the, this uh, feeling that just you have it in, the, in your heart, like, you know, like that is going too far. For example, like I saw like a video that uh, Palestinians is saying that, they, you know, like uh, the Israelis have no culture, no history, which is totally ignorant. So, you know, like I saw the uh, moment that you said like, no, 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 we are not taking it this anymore. Like, I don't know, like for me, like, uh, actually, like, I still don't know, like, would I prefer that you do it? Because like, I felt the fun did, because, you know, like it's totally ignorant. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but that's something offensive he said. Is there something offensive I've said or done? Maybe well, you haven't seen all of them. So. Uh, maybe, like, I didn't... Uh, okay. Uh, I don't remember now. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Um, do you think Palestinians would watch the videos from the people you know and learn something about themselves or about Israelis? Can you just... Like, I didn't get it. Like, from like the people I know? <coughs> Do you think that you enjoyed them and you learned something, but yeah. do you think knowing the people you know, like yeah. the Palestinians, do you think they learned, would learn something if they saw these videos? I think yes. Like for example, like if someone is, I don't know, like it's having a discussion about like, uh, let's go back to the thing about like uh, the Mizrahi Jews. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe if someone is doing research, or he's like really didn't have any dialogue before or, or real talk with the Israelis and just want to know you know like I want to see what Israelis think so he just go click like ask a Israeli, ask a Palestinian, Korean and just watch a video and, and I think that it's a, it's a way that really the Palestinians can learn especially for those who refuse to have any dialogue with Israelis yeah. because you know it's considered as an organization mm -hmm. so uh, for me like I, I do think that it's a way like to Maybe break the taboos and uh, give the Palestinians and the Israelis the chance to get to know more the, uh, about the people that they have been like I don't know like afraid from or like mm -hmm. avoiding. Um, like, but it's it's really helpful. Yeah. I think of other things to ask you. I don't know. Is there anything else you want to say? Something you something else you learned or? Okay, so I want to thank you for bringing this project. Uh, I put it on YouTube that's, you know, like, not only the people, you know, like, it's, uh, it's free, everybody can watch it, and uh, I would love to ask the people who are watching you, like, uh, to, to donate for this project, because, like, it's not only important for the people who are uh, uh, living abroad, but also important for, uh, for us, for the people who are living. So, thank you. This is what I want to add. <laughs> yeah.